Good afternoon, everyone. We have Bellwether Nike just reported its quarterly report. You can see in the after hours tick chart right here. And here's the bid and the ask. Close at 53.60 on the close of today. The previous day's close was 54.83. Today's high was 54. 0.73. The quarterly report on the headline number for Nike is Nike pops three points as it did and we like to talk a little bit about the numbers. There will be a conference call. One of the things that we can say the preliminary number is 73 versus 67 cents per share. Capital IQ consensus estimates. Here's the thing though MMT even though that were popping the gap, revs were 6.19 billion versus 6.22 billion capital IQ consensus estimates. Nike Q3 future orders plus 6% versus plus 6% last quarter. So there isn't any upward part on future orders, that is. Now, there's going to be a lot more information that comes out on Nike. Nike has had a stock split before, so they beat by six cents, and they report the revs are only in line. Um, and I already talked about the, the gross margins increase 30 basis points to 44.2%. Gross margins benefited from the combination of pricing actions and easing material cost, which more than offset higher labor cost. This benefit was partially offset by higher discounts, particular, particularly in the greater China area. As the company continues to work to manage marketplace inventory, additional gross margins was impacted by unfavorable changes in foreign exchange rates and a shift in the mix of the company's revenues to lower margin geographics. Inventories for Nike were 3.3 billion up 4% from February 29th in 2012. Nike brand inventories increased 4%. Nike brand wholesale unit inventories increased 7% to support future demand. While the impact of changes in foreign currency exchange rates and changes in product costs drove a 3% point decline in the Nike brand inventory growth. During Q3, Nike repurchased a total of 4.9 million shares for $253 million as part of a four-year $8 billion program approved by, approved by the Board of Directors in September of 2012. That's called a repurchase buyback program. And they did that. And they used some of that repurchase. So when the stock was down, they went in and started buying some. As the end of the quarter, worldwide future orders for Nike brand athletic footwear and apparel scheduled for delivery from March through July of 2013 totaled 9.9 billion, 6% higher than orders reported for the same period last year. X, the for you know, the FX, the currency. Reported orders would have increased 7%. And so basically we're getting a nice pop. You can see where the interday highs are. Um, we like Nike. Uh, we're going to be selling into this rally in after hours right now. One thing about trading after hour earnings, the market makers give these reports out. We do know how to trade the earnings season. Major earnings season will be starting in April with an overbought market. But the good news on Nike.